Not gonna lie to you all, not excited about covering these things. Happy Halloween to me. Hello, my name is Jeff, and thank you for tuning in to this creepy episode. Now, it is no secret that I am not a fan of the creatures that we are going to be talking about today. I could go my whole life with never meeting one in person. I don't know, they just kind of gross me out. But that is exactly why we chose to cover these blood worms so close to Halloween. Now, if you are brave enough to look for one of these tiny little terrors, shallow pools after low tide in the evening is where you can find these blood worms. They prefer to burrow down deep into the moist, damp sand. One of the places most often traveled to find these worms is off the coast of Maine, where you can find them all up and down the coastal line. Once you dig a little bit, they aren't hard to find, seeing how they can grow up to 15 inches long. Now, although that is pretty big for a worm, that is not the most chilling thing about these slimers. But before we get into the scares, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as a thank you for doing so, here's a video of some hippos enjoying the taste of Halloween. Alright, there's your treats. Now it's time for some tricks. Number 1. Names Now, did the blood worm get its name because it enjoys jumping onto a human and sucking the life force right out of you? No, not at all. The real reason they have been given such an ominous name is due to the thin light layer of their skin. It's so thin you can basically see right through it, just like a ghost. And the red color you're looking at through their skin is actually just their insides moving around. Number two, regrow limbs. Oh yeah, you heard me right. Blood worms among many other worms can regrow body parts. This is due to the powerful cells called pluripotent stem cells, which make up one fifth of their bodies and can grow into any new body part ever needed. Humans are actually equipped with these same stem cells too. We just have them during the embryonic stage of our lives right before birth. But blood worms? Oh, <laughs> blood worms have them all the time. So you can cut one of these things in half and there's a chance they're just gonna grow their body back. There have even been instances where worms can regrow their own head and brains back after they were chopped off. So if you try to chop them up, there's a chance you could just be multiplying them. Like a gross multiplying zombie. Zombies! Number three, marine species. If this list has created a new fear in you or just strengthened the one you already had, not to worry. These blood worms won't be crawling out of your sink drain or toilet bowls just to bite you in your special places anytime soon. They are actually marine animals and have to be in salt water in order to survive. So just like holy water can hurt a vampire, holy water. if these worms are placed in fresh water for too long, they'll die pretty fast. Number four, babies. When blood worms want to make more blood worms, they only have one shot of doing so. There's no dating, courting, or even dinner in a movie. Once it's time to do the dance of love, these feeding worms will literally transform like a werewolf. They will change into mating worms. And once they go through this change, there is no going back. <laughs> Their one final job is to make more blood worms. Once transformed, both the males and females will swim to the surface where they will release whatever reproductive properties they have. And that is it for the adult's life cycle. The parents die off shortly after. And maybe, just maybe, those gametes that were released in the water connect to make future blood worms. Yeah, because who doesn't want more blood worms around? Number five, retractable heads. You wouldn't think worms have heads. What you see is what you get. But when it comes to the blood worms, there is an opening at one end that can shoot out a four-pronged head that can then suck back into its body. The reason they do this is to help them capture their food, like small sea creatures and tiny bugs. 
Then they bring that prey back into themselves to make it easier to eat. Oh, gross. Now, there are people out there that say that these things are not monsters. But uh, this little feature doesn't help their reputation much. Kind of reminds me of a certain alien franchise I know. Number six, teeth. Bloodworms have four metal teeth that present themselves when they shoot that retractable head out of their body. And when I say metal, I mean metal. These four teeth are made of a copper type material. Nice. And what's amazing is that these bloodworms are one of the only creatures that can grow metal organically. These teeth are used to grab onto their prey like a grappling hook. Then they either latch on tightly or just bring that small catch back into themselves. And these bites aren't just for small creepy crawlies. Because even if they can't suck up an entire human hole, the bite still hurts. But the reason for the pain isn't necessarily because of the bite itself. But what is in that bite? Number seven, venom. Yep, bloodworms have venom. And it's injected into you when they chomp down with those four metal teeth. Bloodworms use this venom to paralyze their prey so that when the worm is trying to suck in the guts of its victim like a smoothie, its meal isn't interrupted by that smoothie trying to get away. Lucky for us, a bloodworm's venom is not fatal. And the pain is very similar to that of a bee sting. Are you allergic to bee stings? I don't know why. Now, if you are allergic to bee stings, then you could have similar effects to a bloodworm bite, including swelling and redness. And finally, something very interesting about a bloodworm's venom is that it has a very similar biological structure to the venom found in platypuses. Run for your life! <laughs> And there it is. Now you know all the slimy facts that you would ever want to know about these sand crawlers. You know, I said they reminded me of xenomorphs from the alien movies, but after checking out those four teeth, they kind of remind me more of a predator, which is cool because predators are way cooler than xenomorphs. Prove me wrong in the comments below. And speaking of comments, did this video solidify your fear of these creepy crawlies, or do they somehow seem less scary now and a little cool? Go ahead and type down your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the show. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.